lives and you know I've managed to juggle and balance studying and uh, and working well enough up to this point so I, I don't see why I can't keep doing that you know uh, at university you, you get five months you know off you know um, on holiday the, the, the gaps are enormous more than enough time to make um, one small Harry Potter film, but a couple of uh, <laughs> a couple of you know other films. So it's I think it's everything's possible. You know I, I just I'm being a bit selfish really. I'm trying to do everything. Um, yeah. Uh, um, I, I was always a little uncertain to be honest. Even years previous, whether this was the uh, the path I wanted to choose. But uh, in the last year, I've really um, really built up passion for for film filmmaking. Not not just acting, but the whole everything that goes into it, the lighting and the sound recording and all the rest of it. So I certainly love to continue it for as long as as long as I can, yeah. Yeah, that's the same I think with me, kind of as the experience has gone on, I've kind of realised luckily that this is kind of you know the career that I want to continue in um, continuing. And I'm also going to sort of do I'm going to film school in September. So the same thing I'm kind of interested in the you know wider elements, you know, like directing and cinematography, which you know, this film has definitely been a big inspiration for me. What film school? Um, I'm staying in London, so I'm going to film school within University of the Arts London, which is the main sort of arts school. How would you how would you characterize the, your relationship with uh, David Yates compared to the other directors you've worked with on these films? Sorry, I'm sorry I, just, I always like to know who I'm talking to. Um, I, I, I,